Midwest box trucking. I'm gonna do things a little differently in today's video. I kinda wanna do a reaction to another content creator's video that I was watching. And this topic keeps coming up in the space. I've heard it not from one, not from two, not from three, but multiple different content creators touch on this topic. And like I said, I was just watching another content creator who goes by the name of Big Ward, the genius. And the title to his video was Good Guys Have to Wait, Not Pookie. And this is some of what he was touching on in his particular video. And what he was saying, just the gist of a portion of it, was that he was dating a woman and attempting to escalate. He had already talked to the woman and they had established that they both had cuddy buddies or individuals that they could get up with swing by woo wop the bam and then they gone so him and the woman that he was dating already had established that they both had side pieces if you will and pretty much from what he was saying the woman explained to him that her side piece wasn't relationship material and he was just around for the time being and he understood that if she found someone of substance then pookie he had to go so he was saying pookie understood that him being the good guy or playing the good guy in this particular situation said hey, you know, I'm trying to escalate. You won't throw me no rhythm in that department. But Pookie getting all the goods for the free. And you're telling me that you're pursuing something of substance with me, but you're giving the goods to Pookie for the free. So that was kind of the gist of his video. Mark also touched on a situation and I don't know if it was hypothetical or it was an actual situation, but I caught him like in the middle of one of his live streams and he was talking about a particular individual that's five, 10 minutes away from the drop location for a particular load. He's calling his woman's phone she's not answering he's then willing to turn the whole truck around drive three hours back home to figure out what's going on with his situation at home as opposed to dropping the load and handling the business at hand so like i said this keeps coming up so I just kind of wanted to touch on this topic and give my opinion on the matter at hand. Like I said, it's widely discussed. I've even touched on some of this in the past, but today I just kind of want to go more in depth. First and foremost, let me say this, because this is just the truth. Most of these women no matter who you are as a man, what you have, what your status is, and so forth. Most of these women are not going to allow you to come in their life and disrupt their careers, their households, their financial situations, etc. Let me say that. Women are not going to do that. That's simple man shit excuse my french only men do that type of stuff where they'll jeopardize their careers and their livelihood and their reputation for a woman 
most women, intelligent women, they're not going to do that. They're not jeopardizing anything for you. They're going to work every day on time. You are an afterthought. They're going to deal with you after work or on the weekends or in their free time. But work, family, financial situations are going to come before you 10 times out of 10. So oftentimes people talk about women thinking like a man. In some of these situations, I'm going to switch it around. Men need to start thinking like women. Okay, see, a lot of y'all putting these women up on pedestals. And then let me say this. Oftentimes, because the man in today's age, I'm sorry to say this, we simple-minded. You not chasing a woman that cooks for you and cleans for you. She ain't doing no laundry. She not there for no type of emotional support. Most of you dudes is out here running crazy in circles, simply chasing box. That's it. You're simply chasing box. You supposed to be chasing a bag, but you out here chasing the box. That's your main goal. And like I said, a lot of these women aren't even adding anything of substance into your life. And then I haven't thankfully had to deal with a lot of the Pookie and Ray Ray situations. As an adult, I ain't had a bunch of women cheating on me, thankfully. I'm not trying to brag because that's an unfortunate situation where you can't complete your job functions because you worry about a woman stepping out on you. So luckily, like I said, as teenagers do all type of shit. So that's why I say as an adult, I haven't had a whole bunch of issues with women cheating on me. Just being 100% honest, a lot of my issues came from me being emotionally unavailable. That was a lot of my problem because I'm focused on what I'm supposed to be focused on. But that's still a problem either way you look at it. And that's the where I'm going and the point I'm making. You're not going to get around it. If a woman's not cheating on you, then she's going to be requiring your time and attention. And that's kind of been my issue. You know, tunnel vision and pretty much me being emotionally and a lot of times physically unavailable because I'm in the truck chasing a bag, trying to build a business and so forth. But you see all different type of situations. Some guys, they can't leave more than two or three hours from home because they constantly worried about who? Tyrone. And I'm not being comical. I'm just being 100% honest. So, some men are dealing with women that don't really care for them. They don't really like them because a woman is going to want one or two things from you. Sometimes maybe both, but it's either going to be emotional and physical support or financial support. It's usually one or the other or both. And if a woman is using you for financial support, then nine times out of 10, it's a Pookie or a Tyrone around. And she don't really care about your time. But in other situations, because it's men out here that do have women that care about or love them, then your issue is going to be providing the woman with the, like I said, emotional and physical support that they require. And all women require this. So that's kind of the point I'm making. You're going to lose one way or another. So that comes to this point. Everybody kind of has to analyze their situation and see what cards they're actually dealing with. My advice to a younger guy under 30, 35 years old, 
I would say if you running a trucking company and you're building your business, trying to be successful, don't commit to a woman. If you don't already have kids, you aren't already married or seriously involved, don't commit to a woman. Be 100% honest with them and tell them, hey, I'm out here, I'm chasing my bag, I'm chasing my dreams. This is what it is right now. If you could fit into the equation, then that's what it's going to be. If not, I'm going to have to get with you later. But I'd rather keep it real and not string you along and have you thinking that I'm going to be here at your every beck and call. You're going to have to keep it real with these women. So that's what, for the younger guys, I would do. Be single, deal with who you're going to deal with when you can have time to deal with them because the business is going to take a bunch of your time. So you got to understand that. And you don't want to lead people on and give them false hope. Hey, we going here. Hey, we going to do this. Hey, we going to do that. You might not be doing nothing. The truck could break down. Situations could arise. You could lose drivers and so forth. A bunch of different things happen that may cause you to have to be in the truck. So you got to understand you can't be out here making all these promises and vacations and so forth. So, like I said, my advice to a younger individual, just be single. Keep it real with these women and get your money. Keep grinding. That's all I could tell you. Now, you also have another class of individuals. Individuals start these trucking companies at 40, 50 plus years old. And this is not a slight to them. You know, get it how you live. I understand. But your situation may not be the same as an individual in their 20s or 30s because you probably already have certain things set in place that aren't able to be moved around to support your business. So you may have a wife, you may have kids, you may have different things that have to be tended to outside of the business. You can't just go balls to the wall, pedal to the metal, and chase the money. You have to have some type of balance. So for you, this is something that I talked about in another video. I would suggest finding the right balance because I can't tell an individual that's 45 years old with a 20 year old that's in college and a wife and so forth that, hey, just go out on the road, forget your family, forget about every... You're going to make money, but you're going to destroy your personal life. And eventually, problems in your personal life are going to prevent you from making money. So you could approach things like that, but I'm actually in a truck. So I understand balance with business and then lifestyle. So like I said... For an older individual, you're going to have to find that fine line, if you will, on what works and what doesn't. You may have to set a schedule and so forth. But if you already have somebody, like I said, set in stone and a foundation with that person, then you have to be considerate. I'm not going to tell you to just go over the road, leave your family because your family and because your family and things of that nature probably were there before the business. So they're going to take some type of priority. But like I said, with the younger guys, you can get it. And don't get yourself into that particular situation. And then that's something that you don't have to worry about. But on the other hand, if you're a man out here with a company and you're dealing with a problematic woman and it's not that she's requiring your time, but she just taking your money and giving you a bunch of issues or she got a pookie that she's dealing with and she don't want to give you the box or, you know, whatever it may be, get rid of her. That would be my advice to you. And I know it's rough. A lot of individuals struggle with 
detachment and letting go. But my thing is you're not going to survive out here on a day to day basis if your head is not in the right place. So you better off cutting that particular individual off and not worrying about whatever they make. Go out and build yourself up. Hit the gym, make your money, take care of your truck, build your business. The right people gonna fall into place. A lot of times guys are chasing women of no substance anyway. She not cooking, she not cleaning, she not doing no laundry, none of that. She simply giving you a time when you could swing by, do the little thing thing, and then that's that. And half of the time, she ain't even letting you do that from what I'm hearing in a lot of these situations. And like I said, it's unfortunate, but it's no way I'm gonna be chasing a woman around like the homie Big Ward was saying. I'm dating a woman, chasing her around, trying to escalate the situation, and she didn't already inform me that she giving up what I'm chasing to somebody else for free. No. And he did the right thing, cut her off. Not only cut her off, nobody remember phone numbers no more. You really wanna get rid of somebody nowadays, delete the whole phone number. Out your phone, you can't call her. How you gonna call her if you don't got her number no more? Delete the social medias. You know, don't, 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 don't go in and watching no stories. Get rid of all of that. You need to be focused on the money because with the money and you being dedicated and you working on yourself the right woman gonna come bro and that's all i could tell you the right woman gonna come right now you worried about the wrong thing you need to be worried about building your business the right woman is gonna see the potential in you Everybody ain't going to see the vision, but eventually they will. You just got to keep grinding. That's my advice to anybody that's going through issues on the home front as far as their trucking company and a woman. Because like I said, it keeps coming up over and over and over. I hear different scenarios. And like I said, each individual situation is different because you got a guy, he either being cheated on and I hear that a lot, but that's not always the case. Some relationships break up because the man is emotionally unavailable and emotionally detached because he's focused on what he should be focused on. But women require attention. So it don't mix together. You, They want you to have some type of balance. That's why I said don't go out here, make all these promises when you know you need to be in this truck. If you got four or five drivers, two or three backups, and you hardly ever going to have to jump in the truck, then go out on vacation and do what you're going to do. But if you know that you got to be the individual that's making it happen on a day-to-day -day basis, then don't go out and get yourself involved in all these committed relationships. You know, you thinking you a pimp, but you operating like a simp. You see what I'm saying? You got a bunch of women, but they controlling you. You not controlling them. See, so that's the issue at hand. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. So that's the point I'm going to leave you guys with today. I ain't going to dwell too much, but I did want to touch on and react to the homie Big Wars video. And y'all go check him out. Subscribe to the channel. He dropped some really dope content over there. I just caught on to him maybe in the last month or two. But in a way, he kind of remind me of myself. And then, like I said, he dropped some dope content. He touches on a lot of different situations pertaining to life. And yeah, I was watching that video and I'm like, man, I got to do a reaction to this because uh, I've touched on it in the past. Guys dating out of their league, paying to play, 
and those situations hardly ever turn out well like man get you somebody that's for you and if you gotta go out and buy some expensive car or lavish vacations or all this different types of drip and y'all at the gucci and fendi like all that shit is superficial it means nothing at the end of the day stability is what matters you got individual that got all type of drip riding nice cars and don't got a dime in their pocket so that nice car that buddy riding in could be the same reason why he broke it's a liability as opposed to an asset so stop getting y'all selves into these weird situations trying to impress these women if you focus on the right thing the right woman is going to come when you try hard you end up attracting the wrong type of individuals and that becomes more of a distraction than anything so with that being said you guys stay safe out there take it easy and have a good one appreciate you